the study is, is uh, any afi is the study of. So it's the study of love, and and uh, to have a philosophy is to to know how to love, and to know where to put it. Because you can't put it everywhere. You walk around. You got to be a, a minister or a priest saying yes, my son, or yes, my daughter, bless you. But people don't live that way. They they live uh, with anger and hostility and problems and uh, lack of money, uh, lack of you know tremendous disappointments in their life. Uh, they're so what they need is a philosophy. What I think what everybody needs is a is a way to say where and how can I love? Can I be in love so that I can live? So that I can live with some degree of peace? You know. And I, I guess every picture we've ever done has been in a way to try to find some kind of philosophy uh, for the characters in the film. All right, angry, happy, depressed, happy, the other way, happy, changing, happy, killing, happy, depressed, angry, happy, everything is happy. And so that's why I have a need to, uh, for the characters to really analyze love, discuss it, kill it, uh, destroy it, hurt each other, do all that stuff in, in that in that war, in that word polemic and picture polemic of, uh, of what life is. And the rest of the stuff really doesn't interest me, you know. It may interest other people, but I, you know, I have one track mind. That's all I'm interested in, is love. So, I mean, how much does this cost, you know, paper, to do the hard work, and how much does uh, reels cost? We get it all from the major studios. They help us destroy them. That's the way we work. <laughs> because if we make a good film, they will only suffer. And as they suffer, they come and they say, please make films for us. And we say, no, we don't want to make films for you. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> Money is not, has nothing to do with the film. And it, I, I think it really, in the end, kills you from being creative and from inventing. You know, finding a way to do it makes you think. It makes the crew think. It makes everyone think. Half of the battle to, to make a, a good film in the United States a free film, when I say good film, it's a free film. Whether it's good or bad, we don't know. But we'll put a year in for no money, for no anything, simply because there's a, an expression that has to be said. Now, we don't have any reverence for this expression. We don't believe it's a church. We have to have a good time, otherwise we die. <laughs> I don't usually like movies because movies are made for people to go in and see them and, and make money on them. And, uh, I don't know, somehow he got hooked. I got hooked on it being an expression, a substitute for living. And, uh, a good one. Substitute? Mm hmm I don't know how to live. I mean, I don't know how to dress or, uh, or, um, get on with people. I don't even understand all that stuff. You have to fight every day to keep your sanity and stop from uh, and stop from censoring yourself because in censoring yourself you have no one else to blame. And what happens to artists is that uh, it's not that somebody is standing in their way, it's that their their own selves are standing in their ways. And the whole idea to me and to the people that we work with is to find some kind of um, personal truth, some kind of uh, revelation. That's why when we try to work on a story, we work on a story that, uh, that has some kind of a meaning that we don't quite understand. I think if you were in an ordinary movie, someone would say, pick up the dialogue, or let's go here, or this is what you should do, we need a little bizazz here, and all that stuff, and that would be disastrous, I think, for a scene like that. So, uh, when it gets out to a movie theater, somebody might say, it's dull. Somebody else might say, that's the most devastating scene I've ever seen. Somebody else might say, what was that all about? You, you know? And the way we make pictures is we make pictures for people that are interested in specifics. They're not going to be interested in everything. They're going to be interested in that scene. I love that scene. Somebody else say, I hate that scene. Because it has something to do with their life. And in that sense, it's not like a movie. It's a, a movie tries to pacify people by keeping it going for them so that it's sheer entertainment. Well, I hate entertainment.
we made it first to like it ourselves, then hopefully somebody else will like it. You know, if they do, if they don't. If we sell it, if we don't, we've made it. Our fun is in, the, in making the picture, not in, in, uh, uh, in the glories that come from making the picture. We're not making it for the coyote, you know. <laughs> We're making it for ourselves. Expectancy is an audience to see something that's going to knock you off your feet. And you settle for a nice movie, you know. And you think, oh, I don't want to see something different. I don't want to see something different. I don't want to. I hate it. I hate it. I want it in my form. I want action. I want this. And then when you see something that's different, you say, and you can't get it out of your mind, you're still angry with the son of a gun. And you think, ah, oh, I hated that picture. I hated it. I hated it. But, the, you know, ten years later, you remember it. And you think, hmm, I saw something that's interesting. And, and I think filmmakers should be aware that they don't know anything. And, and today, the people in the world, all over the world, have inherited the disease first of uh, feeling that economy is the answer to, to their lives' problems, and then secondly, they, they feel that intellectualism is an answer to the problems. And uh, the point is that we don't know everything, and it's impossible to know anything. So some fool like me, I say, okay, fine, this is what we're going to do. We either make the picture, we either make the picture, or we don't. If we're going to make it, let's make this room a palace. Or let's not make it a palace. Look how easy this changes. It's no longer a palace. It's a room. <laughs> you know? And you make that adjustment, but the emotions stay the same. So the emotions guard you, you know. Uh, the sense of humor guards you. The uh, saying, the hell with life guards you. Go ahead, kill me. Because it's, this is a, a stupid town. It is a stupid town in the sense that it is the the... Uh, maybe the one of the largest cities in the world. It's lazy. It's a polite. It is so sissy in its mentality. So go along with everything that goes along. It's uh, corporate owned. It's a it's a town owned by Hollywood, and it's about time it grew up. It's about time that it it, it, it took art and said, "Come on, baby, show me something," and we're showing them something. And there are not many people showing anything. And there are not many people that will go out and put themselves on a line in this world today because everyone's frightened. We're doing it for you. Sometimes it's necessary for your own sanity to go back to the beginning, go back to where you started from, and find out whether you really have it or you don't have it, or whether there really is something to say or, no, or not. I'm sick because there are just such a bunch of sissies in this world that they won't go out and see something that's wonderful and they hear it's wonderful and other people will tell them it's wonderful but is it going to be a success? Is it going to be a success? I don't care if it's going to be a success. I want those suckers to come in there and to see this movie because they'll see what they always wanted to be and that is to be theatrical, to be wonderful, to be, to be liked, to be friends, to be... Uh, to have something in their life that is warmer and to regard someone that has more guts than you do and to be inspired by people. And I'm not ashamed of it. I, I really hate this nonsense. Kill somebody, shoot them in the head, the blood pours out. Isn't that wonderful? I hate it. After a while, they don't get irritated because they know it's all bullshit, you, you know? We still have conflicts. Everybody has conflicts every day. Some days you're happy. Some days you're, you're thrilled because everything is totally creative, and some days it's, it's horror. Uh, because nothing is working. Quiet! Shut up, everybody! Come on. But in the, in the form of the way we're working, we just don't know what's going to happen the next day. So everyone has to be creative, otherwise the whole thing goes down. A lot of people know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know till the next day. You know, if, we, if our films are supposed to uh, be something like life is, some, you know, some vague thing that life has, maybe the films can contain, then how can you determine what's going to happen tomorrow? Unless you have such a prescribed life that you're bored with it. Uh, we live an exciting life. I mean, this is exciting stuff, so I can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow.
even if you can read it. You don't know how someone's going to interpret it. I don't think humor can come out of anything but hard work. I don't think humor can come out of anything but tragedy. You like this city? No.